It's another Take One production. Today we're going to learn a technique from my friend Milana Korn in Tucson, Arizona. She calls it cloisonne. Hi, I'm Suze Weinberg, and the products that we're going to need in today's demonstration are the melting pot, black ultra-thick embossing enamel, the mosaic stones rubber stamp, which you can find on my website, schmoozewithsuze.com, a good pair of tweezers, a brush, and all your favorite Perfect Pearls colors. I'd like you also to get out a gold pigment ink pad because the first thing we want to do is ink the back of the rubber stamp with some gold pigment ink. I often like to work with these little free uh, formica chips, these laminate chips that you get at the home improvement store, but for this technique you can use mat board, chipboard, grunge board, cardboard, whatever you like to use, but these are free. We fill the melting pot with black ultra thick embossing enamel and it's now melted. As for your rubber stamp, it's just waiting with the gold pigment ink. You just set it aside and we're going to use it in a couple of minutes. We're going to take our little tag and we're going to put it in the pot and place it on the craft sheet and just let it cool. It takes all of a couple of seconds. Have all of your favorite colors of Perfect Pearls ready to go and now we're going to just color randomly with a bunch of different colors. Now we want to reheat this tile with all these colors. So turn on your heat gun and start melting. All of the Perfect Pearls colors will start coming together. They'll solidify. They'll become very bright and shiny. And the UD will once again become molten hot. If you start to see any holes, those are just air bubbles. Just keep melting, they'll disappear. It's time to get your stamp ready because you've been doing this now for almost a minute. Turn off your heat gun and immediately press your ink stamp into your tile. When you lift off the stamp, you're going to have this beautiful mosaic stone pattern. But we're not done yet. You can leave it the way it is, or you can go to the next step. Can you see the difference in these two tiles? The one we just made is raised, but the one next to it is completely flat. And I'll bet you're wondering how we got that design in there. I'm about to show you right now. Take your heat gun and give it your best shot. What you're doing now is remelting the Perfect Pearls, but it will not take out the gold pigment ink that created the design. So everything will become flat and the pattern of the mosaic stones will remain. Again, if you see any air bubbles, just keep melting. Just remember, I, Udy, do you, Udy? Thanks for joining us.